So when we were designing the ship, we wanted to make sure that our mission control room is in one centralized place with all of the labs integral in one area on the main deck. So not only do you have the mission control room, but you also have the computer electronics room just across the hall, as well as the rest of the labs. It really gives a sense of community and unity across the boat by having everything together. Uh, the Falcor Classics control room was a great space. We did well over 450 dives in it, but based on the science team's uh, feedback, uh, there was definitely room for improvement. We're really excited about how the Mission Control Room has come together uh, based on the input from the scientists, the ROV team and the marine technicians and I think it's really going to incorporate us into one team working together in that space. The design process in general for the whole science and robotics equipment uh, started as soon as we purchased the vessel. We, we brought the key stakeholders and the, the relevant experts from all the departments, put our thoughts in, but we also accessed our previous reviews from previous science cruises and recommendations from the world's leading scientists and how we could make Falcor 2 the best in class. A huge emphasis um, in the design process was to make sure that there was room for growth in the future. So we want it as fully capable as technology allows now, but also 10 years in the future we want to be able to adapt as technology also adapts. Welcome back to the Mission Control Room. Um, after months and months of work, um, we have now gone from drawings of TVs on the wall to them actually in place. Um, as you can see, there is going to be a lot, a lot of monitors and great viewing angles for lots of great science to happen in here. It's now starting to feel like a mission control room. Back on the Falcor Classic, we used to have to squeeze behind each other. As you can see here, it's not gonna be that scenario. One of the, the main differences between our old control room and our new control room is we've moved all of our equipment and servers into a separate space dedicated uh, just for that equipment, uh, freeing up valuable space for more science teams in the control room. And it's also connected directly to all the labs and the offices and the bridge and everything as well. So there is a far bigger and better infrastructure in place to, to handle everything that we do. I think the first time the scientists come running in here when there's a great creature on the screen, this place is just going to have a lot of energy and get really, really excited. A huge part of science is obviously doing the science but then you have to communicate the science. A huge aspect right now is social media and getting it out to the mass public and getting people excited about the ocean. And so I think we're gonna really be able to do that well here and bring people that are at home out here with us just by tuning in to our live stream. Good morning everyone and welcome to Dive 342. I'm just really excited to see the first live stream come together. So it's going to be really exciting for me personally to kind of combine my um, marine biology training background, my research experience, with the more like creative, more outreachy type stuff. Okay, you guys, we're live on YouTube. Stand by. And really make a shiny product for the world to enjoy online. So that's what I'm really excited about.